Wow, how the time has flown by because it is finally Sunday and you know what that means? It means that I, Wendy Davila with the Rag House Media, get to talk to you about environment and fashion related news. So let's just dive right into it. So today we're going to talk about the second biggest pollutant in the entire world. And if you're thinking it's car pollution, agriculture, you're wrong. It's actually the fashion industry. This industry has been throwing trends after trends after trends to us every season, every year, every month. And all that we do is consume them. Well, we buy them, we wear them and we wear them out until they wear and they tear. Um, and that's horrible for our environment. <laughs> Mainly because we are producing all of these emissions that are polluting our world. And it's called fast fashion because it's so cheaply made that we have to throw it out and buy a new one. And it sh we just get stuck in a cycle. For example, it takes 1,800 gallons of water to produce one pair of jeans and 400 gallons of water to produce one cotton shirt. If you compare that to your water bill, you'll see how astronomical of a difference this is. Like this is impacting our environment bigger than we could have ever thought. <laughs> Not only is fast fashion horrible for the environment, but it's also pretty detrimental to our society. Um, mainly because these items are being produced in factories in which are obviously there's some emissions, but the people aren't being taken care of. We're working under harsh conditions, about a dollar an hour, only 2% of the people working in the fashion industry get paid a living wage. These people are living in China, India, any third world country that you can think of. They're producing these garments for us that we wear maybe three months out of the year for about a dollar the day. And if you're thinking this is a third world problem, Think again, because not only do we have factories in America, but we literally have it in our backyard of LA. This is a huge problem, guys. <laughs> so not only is fast fashion an environmental problem, a social problem, but it's also an ethical problem because we're not being kind to the people that are making our beautiful garments. We're just kind of shoving them to the side. So in order to combat fast fashion and our modern day fashion industry, there is a whole 180, which is slow fashion, where everything is made with love and care, ethically sourced, ethically made. Even the people are happy because they are, they now finally have living wages, something that they should have had years ago in third world countries and in America. And aside from that, you can also thrift, you can borrow clothes, you can lend clothes, just give your clothes a second life. And honestly, the best way to combat fast fashion is just looking in your closet and seeing what you can do. Like I made this little scarf into a shirt, just tied it back and it's on. Um, but of course, another way of combating fast fashion is voting with your dollar. Put your dollar where it means something to you. So I hope you learned something new with me, Wendy Davila with Rag House Media. And that was my little segment on fast fashion. Catch me next week. I hope to see you all.